I'm going to do a forensic breakdown on uh, the car and some of the damage that was done. Uh, first off, the, the dent that's uh, behind the door, uh, I realize that um, it just coincidentally matches with my knee right, right there as when I tried to pull the door open to get my brother out of the car. And, um, and then you can see the, the dent that is in the um, transmission tunnel and right in front of it is the transmission. That's where uh, my brother went into the, um, the tunnel with his leg, his knee, and um, broke his, uh, shattered his kneecap. Um, the, the dashboard here is where the rest of them kind of went into. The, uh, the center dash with the toggle switches, it, it bolts and unbolts and swings down without any issues or problems. Uh, so it tells me the front, the top of it there is not a problem. Uh, I've got a small dent in the, um, uh, the driver's uh, door sill, uh, and the, the tube, if you will, that goes through. And then you can see the, the floor. Um, there's been a bit of water got in the car since, um, since, since then. And, um, but the floor is buckled right, right there. So other than that, um, that's all the damage that you can see um, inside the car. On the exterior, you can see there's been some denting on the cowl and uh, all, all across. This is mostly, I believe, where the, uh, the hood, it was a fairly decent fit. I had about an eighth of an inch um, consistent gap, maybe a little bit more than that, a consistent gap all the way uh, along the hood and it was pretty straight. That was, um, uh, the whole hood was pushed into the cowl and I think that's where it hit and, and buckled and pushed uh, a lot of the car and obviously the, the center um, um, clasp for the hood, the closing mechanism, that was done. 